What is going on guys? Derek here from M1 Realty and I am back with your April 2023 real estate market update for the Woodward Corridor. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're going to start out as always with the city of Ferndale. So currently in Ferndale, there are 23 active listings compared to 37 that closed in the month of March. The average sale price in March in Ferndale was $240,449. That represents a 0.4% increase over the month of February, and it's exactly even with where we were in March of 2022. Homes are selling for an average of 99.6% of asking price, and they're selling in an average of 45 days. And currently in the city of Ferndale, we have 0.8 months worth of inventory, so essentially about three, three and a half weeks of inventory, meaning that if nothing else hit the market by you know the middle of May, we'd be completely out of house to sell. On to the city of Hazel Park. Currently in Hazel Park, there are 36 active listings compared to 27 that closed in the month of March. In March in Hazel Park, the average sale price was $194,443. That is a big increase over the month of February at 17.3% higher than the average sale price in February. And that is a whopping 23.8% higher than March of 2022. In March, the average home in Hazel Park sold for 99.9% .9 of asking price and sold in an average of 34 days. And there's currently 1.2 months worth of inventory on the market in Hazel Park which is a good thing because it looks like that market is heating up quite nicely. And in Oak Park, if you remember the last couple months, there was a, a massive influx of inventory on the market in Oak Park. Yeah, well that all sold. There's currently only 14 active listings in the entire city of Oak Park compared to 30 homes that closed in the month of March. Average sale price in March in Oak Park was $206,707. That's a 2.9% increase over the month of February although it is 2.3% less than March of 2022. And while homes are selling for an average of 98.9% .9 of asking price in Oak Park, it's taking a little bit longer for them to sell. The average days on market is 48 days uh, in, in the month of March anyway, and there's only 0.7 months worth of inventory. So if you're looking to buy in Oak Park, uh, unless we see another influx of inventory, you might want to act quick. On to the city of Berkeley. Currently in Berkeley, there's 11 active listings compared to 15 homes that sold in the month of March. Now in March, the average sale price in Berkeley was $366,750. That's almost exactly even with the month of February. It's 0.4% higher, but the average sale price is 17.5% higher than March of 2022. The market in Berkeley continues to be hot with the average home selling for 101.1% of asking price and the average home selling in an average of 19 days on the market. There's currently only 0.6 months of inventory on the market in Berkeley, which represents obviously just, just a touch over two weeks. And in the city of Royal Oak, there's currently 72 active listings. This is actually kind of a jump from a couple weeks ago. We were down under 60 active listings. Uh, compared to 66 that sold in the month of March, the average sale price in Royal Oak for the month of March was $374,386. Now that is 4.2% less than the average sale price in February, and it's like almost exactly even with where we were in March of 2022. It's, you know, 0.3% less. That said, the average home in Royal Oak in March sold for 101% of asking price and sold in an average of only 26 days on the market. Currently, there's 0.8 months worth of inventory on the market in Royal Oak. And of course, last but not least, that little city with the big heart, Clawson, Michigan, your favorite and mine. There's currently a whopping five active listings on the market in Clawson. I think we only had four last month, so that's an improvement, uh, compared to nine that closed in the month of February. Uh, now, the average sale price for Clawson in March was $295,222. That is a pretty nice 8.2% increase over the month of February, and it's 0.3% higher than March of 2022. Now, homes in Clawson are selling for an average of 96.3% of asking price, and they're in on average selling in 20 days on the market. There's currently only half a month worth of inventory on the market in Clawson. Not surprising, considering there's only five houses available. So Derek, in plain English, what does this all mean? So, you know, back in the winter time, early winter, like, late December, early January, we had 
uh, a pretty decent amount of inventory for that time of year hitting the market. And then, I, you know, if you watch these videos, you'll, you'll kind of know, uh, you know, where I'm going with this. But, you know, right about beginning of February to mid-February, in about a two-week span, pretty much everything sold. So now we're back to a very low inventory market, although just in the past week or so, about two weeks ago, things kind of like leveled out. And then we've seen a slight increase in inventory this week uh, compared to last week. So I'm thinking things are trending in the right direction. We're not seeing the absolute craziness that we saw a year ago where there's, you know, 15, 20 offers on every house and bidding wars. I mean, more often than not with the buyers that I'm working with right now, we're getting into multiple offer situations. Luckily, we're in the position where we're able to get a few of those under contract. So we're having some success there, but it's, uh, you know, it's still a bit of a, maybe not a stressful situation for buyers, not like it was a year or two ago, but you know, buyers have to be on their A game, have that pre-approval ready, have some really nice terms and, uh, and bring a strong offer on almost every house. And then if I had to bet, what I would think is gonna happen is we're right at that time of year where we're gonna start seeing more and more inventory hit the market. I mean, traditionally, that's usually what happens. Now, I think we are between a, a combination of just more homes going on the market. There are some foreclosures starting to get peppered in here, and there's definitely more new construction this year than there was last year. So I'm thinking we're, we might not be in a you know, buyer's market per se, or a, you know, a, a, it's gonna be a little bit more of a balanced market than what we've seen the past couple months which or past couple of years, which would be uh, a benefit to everybody involved, including sellers. Um, I know the number one um, fear that I've been getting when I talk to sellers is the fact that, yeah, I wanna sell my house and capitalize on this market, but I don't know where I'm gonna move to. Well, this year is kind of unique or compared to the past couple of years where we actually have some homes for you to move into. Uh, we've got some really nice mortgage programs available to where, you know, I've, I'm, I've got one closing either tomorrow or early next week uh, where, you know, my people are, you know, they just bought the house that they're going to move into. Now we're putting their house in, in uh, Ferndale on the market. So that's definitely an option, you know, depending on your situation. But that's something if you're if you're considering exploring that, just give me a call. Uh, you can call or text me anytime. Direct line is 586-491-5622. You can also reach out to me at 248-561-6155. Shoot me an email, dwarenka at m1realty.net, Facebook Messenger, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, I'm on it. Uh, I'll respond quick to you. But um, yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's gonna be a little bit more favorable of a market um, for, for buyers for sure. And it's really, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a bad market for sellers because I don't think it will. I think we're gonna still have you know, it's still gonna be a seller's market, just not as crazy of one as we've seen the past couple of years. And frankly, I don't know how many more years of, you know, 20% year over year uh, increases we can see on this price and still have it, be have it be sustainable. And as always, if there's a city that I didn't mention that you wanna know more about, just reach out to me, let me know. Uh, you can put a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these videos. I really appreciate the feedback that I've been getting from everybody on these. Just keep it coming, I love doing that. This is why I do these videos, it's for you guys, so you're informed on the market. And you know, if there's a topic that you wanna to know about, just let me know, I'm happy to you know, do videos by request, whatever you guys want. So um, keep, uh, keep giving me the feedback, I'll keep pumping these videos out, and everybody be happy. So thanks so much guys, um, talk to you soon, have a great one, and uh, have a great rest of your week, thanks.